Now let us consider a very interesting case of hog bristle hair. This hair has the largest diameter among other natural hairs. So here we have a picture of hog bristle hair at the distance of 25 millimeters from the tip of the hair and uh, here we measured uh, the diameter and it's equal to 148 micrometers. So here uh, we measured the diameter at the distance of 1 centimeter from the tip and the diameter is equal to 135 micrometers. Here is the diameter measured at 5 millimeters from the tip and it's equal to 123 micrometers. So here we measured the diameter of hog bristle hair at the tip. This notion is not very well defined because uh, hog bristle hair is very often split. Like in this case it is split in two flags. So here what we did, we just went along one of the flags and measured uh, the diameter at its end and it's 66.5 micrometers. If we go along the other flag, we find the diameter of 80 micrometers and we see that this flag is again splitting into two parts. Uh, actually that's one of the reasons the diameter is larger than for the other flag. And also we can find uh, the tips like this and um, here the diameter is 63.5 micrometers. And now let's put the results of the measurements we did in the table. And in this table everything is uh, pretty clear. So if we take for example hog bristle hair, here is the diameter near the tip of the hair. Here is the diameter at the distance of 5 millimeters from the tip, 10 millimeters from the tip and 25 millimeters from the tip. And uh, the only thing I should mention is that uh, we forgot to measure uh, the diameter of the hair, of the Kalinsky hair at the distance of 25 millimeters from the tip. So this data is missing. To better visualize the data, it is convenient to put it in a graph. And this graph is called uh, the diameter of hair at different distances from its tip. So let's look at the x-axis. x-axis is uh, the distance from tip in millimeters. So here is zero corresponds to the tip. Uh, here is five millimeters from the tip. 10 millimeters from the tip and 25 millimeters from the tip. And on the y-axis we have the diameter of hair in micrometers. So we have here 50 micrometers, 100 micrometers and 150 micrometers. And these plots are color coded and a blue one corresponds to Kalinsky hair a red one to Siberian squirrel hair, orange to hog bristle hair, and green one to synthetic fiber. So what one can see from these plots? Uh, first of all, hog bristle hair has the largest diameter, and uh, this plot is above all others. Uh, let's go to the next natural hair. Uh, Blue graph is for Kalinsky sable hair. So uh, it goes like this and uh, as I mentioned before we have data at 25 millimeters missing. So next in natural hairs is Siberian squirrel hair indicated by red plot here. This hair has the smallest diameter and this might be one uh, possible explanation why uh, this hair is very soft. So now uh, let's consider synthetic fiber, how it is compared to the natural hairs. 
So first of all, one can notice that uh, uh, the diameter of this synthetic fiber is very close to the diameter of the Kalinsky hair. It's a little bit larger. But uh, as we go towards the tip, one can uh, see that uh, it drops uh, dramatically and at the very tip it has smaller diameter than both Kalinsky uh, sable hair and Siberian squirrel hair. So this is one of the recommendations uh, I would uh, make to uh, synthetic fiber manufacturers. Uh, don't uh, reduce the diameter at the tip very much and uh, put it more in line with uh, the Kalinsky hair uh, diameter.